we got her together with Sandra and Nora, and they just really, it's like mind meld, and the chemistry was so, so good, and I think that she had this great ability to get them to like go deeper and think about character and performance in a really beautiful way, but, but really they just really loved being around each other, and I think that she's she was really thoughtful about story and really thoughtful about the um, these girls' backgrounds and, and really wanted to sort of know more about what that parent dynamic was, where they came from, um, and they all they all had a really good time kind of talking about that and digging deeper. And, and actually, before we started shooting, Jessica and Nora were both out in London shooting, and Sandra and Jen flew out, and they did like a whole workshop in London for a week to sort of talk through the script. And the chemistry between all of them was pretty magical. But Jessica's just, um, she's a pro. When I met Sandra for the first time, Jen and I went to her house to talk through the script. And similar thing, I was like, oh my God, it's like this beautiful chaos, right? And her mind doesn't stop, also she doesn't stop. So I was like, oh, she is Jenny. Like this is, she has that, that chaotic energy that I think Jenny has. So all of a sudden I was like, oh, it's much more natural this way, right? And when you meet Nora, you expect her to be this kind of, you know, loud, brash, like, you know, outspoken. And she's actually really shy and really quiet. And so all of these expectations of these two that we have just drawn because of their performances, which it's like, they're brilliant, right? Um, when I spent time with both of them independently and then together, I was like, oh, this is like a natural thing for them. And, and I think that Sandra was just so excited to finally be given the opportunity to play something that, that felt like, you know, kind of closer to who, who she is. When you see the film, her subtleties to her performance and how she plays this character, it's insanely funny. But it's not this physical, comedic, scene-stealing, you know, thing that we're used to. But she, I think she steals scenes just by literally, like, the way she will move her face or, you know, her body. I think the way she walks and the way she carries herself is so funny. So it's like the, it's like the little things that she chose to do for this character just made it so funny. I think that it's, yeah, it's a, it's a family sisterhood, beautiful story um, filled with just fun and funny and like what it, my favorite movies are you can laugh and cry in the same, in the same sitting and I think this does this and I think the ending is, is so fulfilling and kind of magical too um, that I think audiences will love it.